<clears throat> Hello, and welcome to the interview with David Fife, and apparently Nala is back there. Um, so I interviewed my dad about how he felt when I hit my head and how he felt over the past year, and it's David's turn. Uh, it's a little late because he's been busy, but we're snacking. He's eating an ice cream. I'm eating chocolate-covered almonds. Those are really yummy. But... Are you ready? He did not prep these questions. These are the first time he's reading these questions because he didn't care enough. I'm just kidding. Cool. All right. David, question for you. When I texted you that I was going to the ER, cause so you know the story of how I hit my head, my dad took me, whatever. I texted David saying like, I hit my head, I don't feel good, I'm going to the ER. That's what happened. So when I texted you, what did you think? Because you were awake, somehow. He was awake at like 4 o'clock in the morning. What did you think? I was sorry, because... You have to speak up. I was sorry! Okay, alright. Because... What happened? I was mean to you. Mm-hmm. He was mean to me. And then I was going to text I was gonna text you, or I did text you. You already me. texted me, yeah. Man, I'm sorry. I messed up. Mm-hmm. And I just responded, I'm going to the hospital. Yeah. Well, what, what is that? What did you think then, though? Like, you were sorry because you said something mean. And you're apologizing for it. But then I just responded with, I'm going to the hospital. I was worried, but at the same time, wasn't surprised. Wasn't surprised? No. Because I think it was just... I didn't tell you I'd hit my head, though. I was mad at you, so I hadn't texted you, been like, oh, I just hit my head when Correct. I Correct. But you are a fragile person. Oh, okay. Who can who gets hurt often and easy? Wow. Okay. What were your initial thoughts and feelings after like I came back and you know realized I had a bad concussion, whatever? What were your initial thoughts and feelings? Uh about my injury. I think. Like, Damn. That's crazy. You gotta talk a little louder. I said, damn! Oh my god. I mean, that's rough. But I was like, oh, this should be over easy. But then it didn't. So your, your thoughts were similar to dad's. It was just like, alright, we gotta just get through it. Yeah, Me too. Yeah. Okay, so what was going through your mind when I kept getting worse? Uh, I don't know. I was just like, this is, this is crazy. This is a lot. You were just vibing. Yeah. You're just in the moment. Yeah. So like I after at the like the few weeks until like I started vision therapy, I just kept getting where I kept waking up vomiting, all that stuff. There was like a half second I thought you were gonna die. And Wait, really? I, yeah. I don't know. I was like, is she fucking like she's gonna? You didn't tell me that. It was gonna. Be, I thought it was gonna be like when my grandpa hit his head and then he was like slowly bleeding and then he had a stroke. Oh, you thought that happened to me? Mm -hmm. Wow. And then I was like. She's gonna die from it. Why is this black on the inside? It's from the charcoal of the the filter. When did you really when did you realize when was that? I don't know. When did uh, you realize I wasn't gonna die? Uh, was it like quickly or was it like in two days? It wasn't like a, a persistent thought, but it was like the thought that I had. That was crazy. But, um in the beginning, were you ever scared or worried? Uh, yeah. Like I said, I thought you were gonna die. <laughs> Outside of that, where you just, I mean. Okay. I mean, I was like, this sucks, like for you. This is rough. Uh -huh. So David went with me to my first appointment with the eye doctor. You took me for the first time, do you remember that? I did. And I rode in the car for the first time, yeah. with the bucket, it was like a whole thing. Did your feelings about the situation change after that appointment, after I saw my eye doctor? And he, we, they, it kind of explained to us that like the visual system where it's located how it can be affected like yeah did your feelings change after we heard that i was optimistic in the way of like we know oh partially what's wrong and how to fix it mm. but yeah what <laughs> your answers are just like i don't know 
I got really tired just now. <laughs> okay. Um, so you felt optimistic. You felt excited. Like, oh, we know it's wrong. We know it's Yeah. Okay. When did you realize this was serious? Uh, when, like, he went to the fucking doctor for the third time. They were like, it was the third time of him saying, yeah, two weeks will be better. And that was before the eye doctor, though. I don't know, it did take long, whenever there you, was- So you realized it was serious, but Dad said he didn't realize it was serious until like, October, November. Really? Yeah. No, I think, cause you, you hit your head June. July. July. Early, early July, July 6th. July. Mm-hmm. By like, August was like, bitch is not getting better in a month. This is a, this is crazy. I was getting worse, not better. I was doing yeah. the exact opposite. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And how did you feel? When she realized it was serious. I was like, damn. <laughs> you know? <laughs> How else would I feel? It's crazy. You should have been fucking. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a crazy situation. Um, what has. So, this year all together, like just in general as a whole, not just like in the initial moments or whatever, uh -huh. what has been the hardest part for you? The hardest part for me mm -hmm. has been not being able to have a girlfriend and hang out. Yep. As a couple. Yes. Yeah, that's been hard. That's been hard on both of us. Um, so you have carried the emotional burden. Most of it. Like, if I'm... However I'm emotionally feeling, I yeah. mainly come to you. Yeah. Um, how have you, like, dealt or coped with all of my, all of my emotions during this time? On top of <coughs> you also having to, like, handle the situation. Anger. Anger. Because I will tell you something, and then it will be co star. Oh, oh, it will be your no, father. that's not what I mean. That's it will not what be I mean. a quote. That's it will be something. No, that's not what I mean. I will mean be over either. here trying to talk to you and be like, oh, this, this, and that, and then like you fucking shut me off. No. And then you see something else that's random, and you're like, David, I saw this, and I was like, oh, I was like, God damn it, it's almost like I fucking told you that like forty times. <laughs> that's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. What do you mean then? Like, how has it been carrying the emotional weight of everything? Have you felt like frustrated? Have you felt weighed down? Not frustrated felt, would be appropriate. Like I just okay. spoke. Okay. I just not what I thought you were gonna say. What do you think I, was gonna say? I thought you were just gonna. I thought. I thought two things. I thought you were gonna say like, well, no, I've been able to handle it because I know you're going through a lot, and I want to be there to like help you or whatever. I thought that was gonna be an answer or. You were gonna be like, bitch, you don't stop complaining. I mean, both of those things are also true. All right. But I ate almond. All right. I want another ice cream. Okay, so there have been some pretty dark moments. Yeah, you can't turn the lights on, or it hurts your brain. Are you gonna hit yourself in the head? No, I'm gonna hit you. There have been some pretty dark emotional moments. When I told you that I was in a really bad dark place, oh. what what were you thinking? What was going through your head? This bitch is crazy. She she needs some help. Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna kill you. That's not a serious answer. He's just being a little shit. Shit right now. I was worried. I was like, damn, I don't want the bitch to fucking. You seemed very worried. You seemed was, very concerned. I was very worried. You seemed very upset. Mm -hmm. Um, wait, do you remember that one moment where? Okay, I don't know if you remember this. It was like early on. This was probably like when I was this right when I started visual therapy or something. You, I was like feeling really down and really sad, and you're like, you can't do that because you got to get up, and you got to do it, you got to fix it, and it's like, it'll be fine, you'll fix it, won't be that big of a deal. And I was like, David, this hurts, this is not okay. And you're like, yeah, we'll be able to fix it, no problem. And then we went and did something. I think we went to an appointment, or I have it, or something, and it was like super bad or whatever. And then we came back, and I just like started crying. It was like the first time I'd like really just emotionally just like went through it. And instead of you being like, oh, it'll be fine, you'll get up, you, it'll be fine, you just were kind of like, yeah. You remember that moment? I think so. I don't remember the I don't previous remember. part, but I remember afterwards being like, damn. 
No, for because you were also having the same attitude as dad. Be like, oh, you'll be fine. You'll you'll get up and you'll do it. And when, when I wasn't feeling that way at all, and then after this appointment, oh, there was the, something like that. Yeah, and then after really, like an appointment or something, you just like, yeah. That's right. There was something like that. It was very know. sweet because he, I was sitting down on my bed and I was crying, and he had really bad sciatica at the time. So the way that he had just, he like didn't want it to seem like it was a big problem because he wanted to like comfort me, but he sat down. He went. I did do that, didn't I? <laughs> It was very sweet. It was very funny. Okay. Um, where was I? Do you think our relationship has changed during this year? If so, how? Hmm. Do you wish you prepped these questions before? Uh, I didn't know it was going to get this serious. Well, what did you think this was going to be? What's your favorite know. color? I don't know. <laughs> um, can you repeat the question? <laughs> Do you think our relationship has changed? Uh, I think we've gotten closer, you mm -hmm. know, because, you know, you're really like heavily relying on me and this, this, and that, you know, like you can't literally, you couldn't fucking cook for yourself. And who's cooking for you? Me, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, I think we've, we've learned to trust each other more, especially mm -hmm. you trust me mm -hmm. with your crazy ass. Um. She's to cool down. She sits in her window, gets too hot, and then comes and cools down. We're just in her in her way. Oh, you're so young. Um, I agree. I think we've come a lot closer. I think we have. We do have a lot more trust. Mm -hmm. I think we also like. I don't know. I feel like maybe we appreciate each other more. Sure. Or like value each other more. I think I think the changes have been good changes. Yeah. I think there was a minute where there's been like growing pains during this time of trying to figure out how to live and navigate. Yeah. But once we got through that, it's been fine. There hasn't been any problems. I think we uh, communicate a lot better. Yeah. Okay. You're not taking this seriously at all. Oh shit! I did. Do you put in my almonds? No, don't put in my almonds. Oh no! I can't get this. Well, oh, this thing of almonds was seventeen dollars. Damn, this is a fucking seventeen bucks for a whole kilo of almonds. I don't know what that is. I speak American. All right. Oh, nice. I don't. I don't have any questions about this in here. I need to ask you. So, whenever I was going through gallbladder stuff, you were there for like a little bit of it, but for most of it, well, fifty percent of it, you were in Brazil. No. So you didn't see all of it. But when you found out I had to get my gallbladder taken out, mm. what'd you think? I was like, damn, she's finally gonna die and I'm not gonna be there. That sucks. Is that actually that you're fucking around? No, I didn't think you were gonna die. <laughs> I was like, I mean, I, you probably didn't care. You were in Brazil, so it was hanging out. You were probably like, damn, harsh. that sucks. Yeah. Cozinha. Low key, yeah. Okay, but I, like, I what, mean, like, I would rather I, you be in Brazil with me. No, you know? I'm talking about like the when like you, we realized we need to get the gallbladder removed. Like this was going to be a thing mm -hmm. that had to happen. I had to have the surgery. What did you think? I was like, yeah, gallbladder surgery is not good. My people in my family had it. And that's going to be rough on top of like your head injury stuff. So it's yeah. not going to be fun. You're not going to have a good time. Mm -hmm. Shit, I'm going to go to Pomona right now though. <laughs> Were you ever worried it was going to rupture? Everyone was like on fucking pins and needles. Uh, like. I yeah, I was a little scared about that. It was bad. Um, what did you think like after the surgery and everything? Oh, I was like, it was just gonna be fun. It was. We were talking about this the other day. It went surprisingly well. And you were there through the entire whole recovery part. Yep. You had to like lift me up out of bed and stuff because I just couldn't do that. But like, it went surprisingly well. Okay. Um. I had another question. I forgot what it was. Fucking sucker punch your shit. Yeah, he did do that. This was what, th three weeks, four weeks? I don't know. It was very. very it weird. was like three or four weeks after, and he like kneed my abdomen real yeah. hard. I, I, and it hurt. I don't remember how that happened. But I don't either. But it hurt. Yeah, it was not good. I had another question. Oh, do you think. Oh, this isn't written down. Do you think my doctors have adequately handled. Fuck no, you should sue the dude. You should sue the first guy who told you, oh, you'll be better in two weeks, you'll be better in two weeks. Just sue him. 
You would you would get money. Why should I sue him? This David feels very strongly about this. Dude was mouth was like he should have done better. He should have fucking done a better job. But his stupidity. You should have either like referred you to someone to get you your shit for like sooner. You should have gotten like some kind of scan on your shit because you didn't have the scan for like what two or three weeks. No, I got the CT scan the night that hit my head. I didn't get the MRI until three months later. What the fuck? Yeah. In my country, we would have had that shit the next morning, yeah. if not earlier. I but can is stupidity and ignorance malpractice though? Like, can you actually yeah. sue for that? Yes, I think so. Maybe. Dude should have done his job better. You were in distress. You were having a problem. Your problem wasn't solved. Dude is a fucking physician. His job is to aid people in illnesses. You had an illness. He did nothing. I think it's because I'm a young person. I'm a young woman. And you're a goddamn woman. I'm a woman and I'm not an athlete. I really think that was it. But what about the other doctors? What about like my uncle and the sports medicine physician? I mean, uh, your uncle's cool. Olowinski's cool. You think they've handled it well? Yeah. PT, they're cool. This is the first dude. Yeah, he fucked me over. He really sent me back. You should sue. I think you should fucking sue. Because imagine if you had just hit your head and they put... They, put they did an MRI. They did an MRI and they put you in the fucking shit. You know? Yeah. And then like yeah, cause we found, recovery, whatever. Because we found out that there's... In the first six months, you can go through like a th an intense therapy to help... A, like, real, like... What was it? To help with lessen the symptoms of a concussion. Yeah. It won't, it doesn't necessarily get rid of it, but it lessens the symptoms. And, and like, there was no mention of that whatsoever. I didn't get an MRI until months uh, later. And so bleeding would have been not visible at that point. Like, uh, which I think I absolutely have. Been. <clears throat> I think my, I actually have been free. First, like, whenever it was like, oh, in two weeks it'll be better, two weeks it weren't better, put your ass in the thing. Yeah. It they literally, up. they kept saying two weeks until December when I stopped going. Each time I went, yeah. each, every two weeks I went, Come they kept on. saying two weeks until I just stopped showing up because no. they weren't doing anything. You so. should fucking sue. I'm no. telling you, you should sue. Let us know in the comments if you think you should sue. Let's make a poll. <laughs> okay, what was the worst part of this year for you? Worst part of this year? Well, what are you counting of the year? 2020 or, or 2022 or 2021 or like... From, from when I hit my head to now. now? Yeah. What's been the worst part of this year? Worst part of this year? I went to Brazil and I can see you for two weeks. That's a lie. No, you were having a great time. I was having you by someone. Yeah, what, that was no. the best time. Best yeah. part. Yeah. What? No. Worst. What's been like? Just the worst part of this situation. Like what? Is it like a specific time frame, or you're asking like a specific situation? Whatever like you feel the answer should be. It's the same answer as the first question. It's because I can't I can get to experience most of my goals. They couldn't. It's because... Sorry, no. <laughs> she didn't like that. Has it been hard, like, on your... I've asked you this. We don't really give you an answer. Has it been hard on your end, like, going to school and ha being and doing what you need to do or whatever, and then... Not having a secretary? No. And not... Ha like and, and having this situation on top of it. Like, has that been hard to, like, balance and juggle and... You've made her go away. Has that been hard to do? Yeah. I was taking 17 credits last semester and I was a stay at home nurse. Mm -hmm. And I think that's all I was going for. I was trying to play Elden Ring. It was tough. You are so unserious right now. Okay. Um, what have been some happy moments? What have been some good moments? Brazil. This is all about my head injury. This is not about you going to Brazil and fucking free balling everywhere. This is about <clears throat> when we went to Steak Your Rice Cafe. This was recent, yeah. And then we were finally able to go out fair enough that like afterwards you had to like shit your brains out. Yeah, I got really sick. But uh but going being able to go out was a really good experience. Much like today. Yeah, we went we, yeah, we bought clothes today. Mm -hmm. What about just like overall during it's year. I think every time that we like do something or and we can tell like it's an improvement I'm like you know when we watch what when was the first thing we watched Bob's Burgers yeah the hairspray when we watch hairspray mm -hmm. I was like so my milestones have been happening yeah. what about like just us as a couple like has there been any nice moments that you can think of I would say all those are different because I'm over here celebrating your success 
and your recovery right. and it makes me happy mm -hmm. it's been to me like a happy moment it's been all that stuff but a happy moment with me has been able to have sleepovers mm. yeah that's been fun i like the, <sighs> I, fucking I like being able to cook breakfast and stuff with you yeah and all that stuff and we've we also happy moments slash chaotic moments are brushing our teeth it is we have found out it's there's been spit all over the mirror multiple times because of stupid shit every time we brush our teeth most together, of it, yeah i will something will happen i'll laugh and then i'll just like spit it all out mm -hmm. it's true mm -hmm. playing sorry i think was really fun Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I was like, "What are you talking I'm about?" I'm sorry. You did play sorry. Okay. Anyway, you're not very reflective, are you? Like mm -hmm. as a person. No, I am very much like not reflective. I have white skin. I only reflect sunlight. I'm going to fucking murder you. I swear to God. The only reason why I'm not going to murder you is because then I'd get put in an actual prison, and I've already been in like a type of prison. I don't want to do it again. They would not care that you have a. They would not give a shit out. They would keep the lights on on your yeah. shit. Okay, final question. Unless you just decide to pull some shit, have you ever felt like giving up? <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? Have you ever felt like giving up? Like fucking give it and like leaving? Leaving or just been like she's not gonna get better. There's nothing we can do. This is hopeless. Like, have you ever had moments like that? No. Not once. No. Not even a little bit. Have you felt like breaking up with me? No. <laughs> what if you said yeah? Imagine. <laughs> That's sweet. Okay. This is the same type of lid that I think I had on my whey protein. Oh my god, David. This is supposed to be like a very deep and reflective interview where we talk about all this shit. And you're over here just being feral. Do you have anything else you'd like to add to apparently this very unserious interview? Uh, fuck Donald Trump. Uh, Bush did 9-11. Um, you could be like, to, you, you could be like, I love you. We need to over, we need to, uh, overthrow the means of production. Um, Jeff Bezos is like, this is not what I was trying to get out of this. This is not how I thought this was going I've been go. feral lately. What are you talking about? You know this. Okay, well, I love you. What do you do? Are you happy I'm getting better? Yeah. Are you... Isn't the I answered, like, this question somewhere. What question? It was the, the answer was like, hey, every time that you... I've always been the happiest moments for you. Every time you hit a milestone. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm happy for you. We've been able to go out today and do stuff. Yeah. It was a good time. <laughs> a good time yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that concludes this very unserious interview. You and my dad, you and my dad have kind of different answers. Like, he, he didn't think it was serious until, like, we went to Old Whiskey for the first time and she said it's going to be at least a year. He didn't realize it was serious until then. <clears throat> I, mean, I was true. I was getting those vibes. I was like, this is going to take forever and I'm not looking forward to it. I'm so sorry. It was inconvenient. Okay. All right. I'm ending this. You're getting so fucking ADD. All right. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. Do you have last words before the remote turns off? Uh, big software. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>